Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's take a look at the fourth and final thermodynamic potential called the Gibbs free energy. And so what is different between the Gibbs free energy and the Helmholtz free energy? Well, let's take a look. We have a similar diagram on the board as we did on the previous video. And here in the diagram, we can see that we have a system within an environment. But in order to do work on the system, well, or if when we do work on the system, I should say, well, that will result in two things. In this case, it will result in an increase in internal energy, but it will also, part of that work is used to actually make room for the system, because as we're doing work on the system, it causes the system potential to heat up, and when it heats up, the system potential will need additional room. So work is needed to expand the system against the environment that takes work. And so energy is stored not only as internal energy to the system, but also stored as work that was done to expand the system up against the environment. We also realized that some of the energy required to do so also came from within the environment, and we call that Q, the heat added to the system from the environment, and Q is equal to S times T, where S is what we call the final entropy, and T is called the temperature. Now, without knowing too much about entropy at this point, because we have to go look at some other videos to do so, we can go here and realize that the change in entropy of a system or of the environment and the system is equal to the heat exchanged divided by the temperature at which it happens. And that means we can rearrange the equation and show that S times T is indeed equal to Q, the heat added to the system from the environment. So when we add heat from the environment and we do work on the system, all that together does indeed increase internal energy and it makes room for the system. Now when we go back and try to reutilize that energy to do work, well, unfortunately, not all of the internal energy and not all of the energy stored as the increase in volume can be utilized to do work. Some of it is going to be lost to the environment. And it's the total amount of energy available from internal energy plus the, the energy stored in the expansion of the volume. When you take all that energy, we subtract from that the energy lost to the energy, oh, and wait a minute, this is the wrong symbol here, isn't it? Yes, here I need Gibbs free energy, so I need G, not W. Oh, no, actually, no, that was right. Hmm, hmm, I'll go back. I shouldn't have done that. Ah, all of a sudden I realize, no, that is indeed W, the work done. So let me repeat myself, because I think I, for a moment there, had a, a brain mess, a malfunction, so to speak. But anyway, the amount of work that can be done is not equal to the total internal energy plus the energy stored in the expansion of the system. Some of it is lost and is absorbed by the system. So the amount of work that we can do is actually less than the available energy. And that work that we can do is essentially equal to the Gibbs free energy. That's the definition of the Gibbs free energy. It's the amount of energy available to do the work because we can't utilize all of it. We're going to lose some of it to the environment. And so when we put energy into the system, we get some energy from the environment. When we pull energy out, we give some of the energy back to the environment. So here, when the energy is stored in the system, when the energy stored in the system is utilized to do the work, part of it is lost to the environment. And so that remainder of the energy that's available to do work is called the Gibbs free energy. And that is the final of the four thermodynamic potentials. Now that we understand them, at least from a top level, we're going to dig in a little bit more and see how they're utilized and how they stack up against one another. So stay tuned and we'll show you some more details and then eventually some examples of how to actually utilize these, especially when it comes to enthalpy. Should I redo that one? No, you're good. All right.